Welcome to Glow Up or Get Out. Today we're going to be talking about tapping into your creativity and avoiding burnout. These are things that we personally believe in and have found work, but uh, as you know, it's not a one size fits all, so you kind of got to play around with it. Yeah. And sometimes some things work and sometimes they don't. They just don't. So let's just get into our tips. We broke it down into how many sections? One, two, three, four. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So we broke it down into four sections of categories that you can, I don't know, is it like something you would try from every section or would you just try one section? I think, I think either way you can do, you know, if, if you feel like the first section doesn't work for you or like it's not helping you, definitely try, I would try one of each at least. And then if you feel like you gain more creativity or inspiration from one of the categories, then Obviously, that'll be the way that you, you know, I I don't want to say like communicate more with yourself, but like have more inspiration, inspiration, less, Uh, less mental block. Yeah. So the first section we cutely named reverse uno, which basically we're trying to say like (laughs) use what's not working against yourself. So use your creativity to try and reverse reverse uno that (laughs) and try and get some creativity. So examples of that would be like journaling, drawing, painting, yeah. creative types of things. But with the acknowledgement that there's like no pressure. Right. And like just make whatever you want, write about whatever you want. I think that like, for example, going back to how we said some of these won't work for everybody. For me, when I'm already frustrated creatively, I feel like I can't just paint whatever I want. Yeah. Or like do that kind of a thing. So that's why I've again reiterate like if these don't work for you that's fine but yeah just try not to have any expectations on like what you're creating just kind of have a free-flowing thought yeah and allow yourself to just kind of go through the motion of what it is that you're trying to like create create yeah yeah I agree I think reverse uno works for me to an extent it depends like if we're shooting like if it's a work thing that I'm feeling creatively like like, I'm not vibing with it. I get more frustrated trying yeah, to create something. No, I'm like, sure. I just feel like I'm wasting my time. Like, what am I doing? Like, what? Am, why am I even making this? But I think if it's, I'm feeling in a rut about just in general. Like, I just don't feel creative lately. Like, my, I feel like my Instagram page sucks. Or like, whatever. <laughs> like, I just feel like, eh. Yeah. I wish I was doing more creatively in my day to day. Then I think I would like journal draw or if I'm going through something, it's like cathartic to, yeah. to do creative things. And then it reverse unos and then you feel creative Creative in general yeah Yeah. I think the only one of those that we just like mentioned that worked for me is maybe journaling Mm. because it's like less it's less intense I feel like creating something like visually is just like a lot of work or like not it's not supposed to be work but like it feels like a lot of work to me like I feel like it's too much pressure yeah kind of a perfectionist so it's like Mm. my brain goes like if there's no like purpose to this why are we doing it what's the point (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I agree journaling is definitely it's the easier, easier one yeah because then you can just write about whatever you want you can write a story which I've never done that when I'm in a creative rut but I'm also not a writer yeah and I don't know if a writer would want to write a story like maybe if you are a writer try writing about your day instead yeah because it's something that's like factual solid and then that could inspire you and then maybe for us maybe we should try writing stories Maybe. Just something real simple, real quick, little princess in the pea. I guess that's kind of it for reverse uno. I don't know what else to say about her. I think that's it. The next section we have is just move. (laughs) And by that I mean like move around. So this can include like going outside in nature, getting a workout in, just kind of getting your body going, like physically going. Yeah. Um... That might also just spark up some new inspiration just because I feel like sometimes you're obviously your brain and your body function together. So like if your body's feeling a little bit in a rut, your mind is probably a little bit tense as well. So yeah, you know, even just like stretch, get a stretch in, do some dance. It's like no pressure. Just like it makes your mind also wander 
Yeah. And if you're outside, you know, you, like, wander onto, oh, like, that's a cool building. That's a cool plant. That's... Yeah. Those are cool people. <laughs> like, I don't know. Whatever you get inspired by from being outside. Yeah. Honestly, don't underestimate, like, a, a good long walk. Mm-hmm. That will definitely clear up your mind for a good minute. The last thing we have in this section would be play. Mm-hmm. I think by play, we mean, like, just do something that's... Just, like, be playful. Like, yeah, like, like be playful. playful, hang out with your niece or nephews or, like, your friends. Like, whoever's little kids, because, like, little kids are just so, like, me, like, yeah. whatever. It just makes you think about playing with them, not necessarily, like, oh, also, now I have to do that. you could say playing is, like, playing a, a sport of some sorts or dancing. A game. Game. Game night. Game. Is that physical, though? It doesn't have... Well, we said move. Move. Just... I mean, you could play tag. <laughs> Go play tag as an adult. It yes. might be life-changing. Hide and seek at night goes off dude hide and seek is scary i feel like bad things happen when you play hide and seek so basically move do something that makes your physical body Just not slow. sitting on the couch like this yeah you know? or like at your desk like wherever you are i'm sure your body wants some attention <laughs> not like moving from the bathroom to the couch or the fridge to the couch right doesn't count doesn't count the next category we have is connect and i think connect in general is like there's two different ways to go about it. There's like connecting more with yourself and then mm-hmm. connecting with others. Right. Personally, I think it's easier for me to connect with others than myself. Like I feel like when I connect with myself, it's like work. Mm. <laughs> like for me, I feel like it's work, but connecting with others comes easy for me. Yeah. So I'm like fun. So by others, we mean being curious and asking others how their day was and like just literally connecting with people, collaborating with people on things. Like if you're specifically in a rut about whatever, a painting, ask somebody, be like, what do you think? Like, what are your thoughts? Or literally just getting out and connecting with people, like having a fun night in because it's COVID. COVID. But, you know, whatever the case is, connecting with others. Yeah. And then connecting with yourself. I feel like that's a lot easier for me personally. Mm -hmm. I feel I'm very introverted, but I feel like I can, like, use my energy to be extroverted. So whenever I do too much like socializing or like connecting with others, I feel very much drained. And it's not even that people have like very draining personalities or anything. It's just like me genuinely, it just takes a lot of energy for me to like exert myself into like this state of being extroverted. And social. And social. So for me coming back home and being with myself, I mean, I live with someone. So that also kind of takes play into like how I feel about myself. So me taking like literally just a shower by myself with some like jazz music or some like music that's not so like word heavy, like where Mm -hmm. I can literally sit with my thoughts and be with myself is I feel like very, I don't know, that's how I connect with myself. That kind of, those kind of small moments where I can just take some time and literally be with my thoughts. Not like my scary, like scary or depressive thoughts (laughs) kind of a thing. scary thoughts. But just like, hey, like this says here, like, I don't know how to say that, but it's like. It's just you and me today. It's great. I saw on TikTok that apparently there's people who don't have inner monologues. I, I've heard that. And I don't I'm believe like, it. That's not true, is it? No, I, it's true. It has to be true. I've never met a person, and nobody in the comments said they don't have one. So I'm like, well, where are you people at? Like, y'all just recluses? Y'all ain't on Dude, anything? Dude, my inner dialogue is fucking loud. Like, she doesn't <laughs> shut the fuck up. But anyway. Oh, my God. Yeah, like, that inner dialogue, sometimes I let it run free yeah. when I'm alone. And sometimes it's kind of cool. Like, has I have a lot to say, apparently. <laughs> sometimes she do be saying some thought-provoking things. <laughs> but, yeah, connecting with yourself is, I feel like, also. Use those two together. I feel like. Once you have yourself down, connecting with others, like Sam said, and like gaining perspective on like their their lives or like how they think about your work or like whatever you're doing. Yeah. Can also help you see things in a different light. The last thing we put in connect was not overworking. Mm-hmm. Which, you know, it kind of could go to like any category, but basically just like don't push yourself to the point where you're like, I need to get it done or like procrastinating until the point where you are overworking everything. Yeah. Because... I feel like most creative people don't thrive in high pressure. High pressure. Which some some do. But like high pressure when it comes to art, it ends up feeling rushed and you might not be happy with it. Even if it comes out good, you still might be sitting there like, I don't like it personally or whatever. Our last section is unplug. 
So this is very much what you think it is, unplugging from the world. Out the world, like society. <laughs> Just unplug from what, listen, <laughs> society and everything that you're, like your phone is literally in your face all the time and literally consist like it's consistently telling you the expectations of the world and what you should be doing and how you should be expressing expressing yourself, yourself. yeah so I feel like you aren't getting your true perspective on your art or like what you should be doing or your creativity it doesn't even have to be like necessarily that you're an artist or anything but like literally any creativity is kind of diminished or hushed because you have some type of expectation that was given to you by society when yeah you know and you're all kind of free flowing you're constantly comparing yourself to everyone else yeah i mean which it's okay to like draw inspiration from others whatever that means if you're looking for a different management style like you have to be creative with it like sure but maybe that doesn't apply to you completely and you need to sit and actually think about what your company looks like what your culture is like and not just be like copy paste yeah so yeah i think Focusing on not focusing on everyone else. <laughs> it's like, yeah, focusing on things that are outside of the expected, I guess. I don't know. I'm thinking outside the box. I'm <laughs> plugging. I don't know. So things that we said would help create like that environment for you is going on a trip. You know, whether that be like going out in nature and having a moment with nature, I feel like that's very grounding and it kind of reminds you of the mo more important things than what you would think is important in your day to day mm -hmm. when you're like, you know, in in a very busy and go, 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 go environment, or even just like having a trip in another city, or even just like literally, if you have a certain commute that you're going through like your daily life, take a different route there. Maybe just stop by somewhere that's new. Just try small things. Well, that was the other thing. So changing your routine. Yeah. It's good to have a routine, but after a while, it can feel like, uh, like I do the same thing every single day. Routine is good to a, to a point. I feel like, it keeps people very organized and very, I don't know, just less anxious. Mm -hmm. the but plans. At, yeah, it, it's just, but at the same time, like when it's too much of the same thing, then I just start feeling kind of dull. And exactly. That's when you need to just change the routine, create a new one. Which it could be as small as like, instead of going to Dunkin' for coffee, I'm going to make my own or I'm going to go to this cute little boutique coffee place. Mm -hmm. Small things Small can be things. big things like quitting your job. <laughs> <Just kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a, that's a, that's a big one. Uh, just kidding. Don't quit your job. <laughs> Don't quit your job unless you have something planned. Another uh. big one is not using your phone for a set amount of time. So whether it's like when you're on the trip and you unplug for the weekend and not using your phone or if it's every Every day I don't use my phone past 9 p.m. or whatever which that seems kind of and I was like it's kind of late for some people kind of late for some <laughs> not for me <laughs> but yeah I think also just like maybe having a moment even if you're not going anywhere mm -hmm. I kind of want to try this but like not using your phone the entire weekend like literally putting it in a drawer and like letting everyone know that you're not going to be using your phone okay bold <laughs> but also how am I going to navigate myself please because I am not great at directions. Yeah, you need to stay home, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna get one of those like actual GPS Tom things. Tom Toms. I think that's fun though. I feel like that might be. You could still use the internet and MapQuest yourself somewhere. Start printing my, writing it down like so we used to. Yeah. I want to try that. It's an option. Cause like fun. what? Honestly, what is life without our phones right now? You're being too loud over there. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, though, our phones are everything. If I want to know what, what I would do all day. Let's start with one day. Not one a whole day. weekend. Mm, yeah. Mm. No, one day's fine. One day's good to Do We should take a trip and then collect the phones and then give them back at the end of the trip. That's fun. No picture. Disposables. Disposables. Meet and disposables. Period. Think. We should do that. Anyways. Anyway. Last one. And then I had written down having childlike imagination. And this is also going with the fact of like unplugging your expectations. This one, I feel like, I don't know how obtainable it is right off the bat, but there's obviously some like work to it. I don't know how to explain this, but like mental. Yeah, I think, I think we said something like this in our last episode where like coming back to things that you liked doing as a kid. Mm, yeah. Similar vibe. I, we read this one thing that said, write 10 stupid ideas 
and it doesn't matter how crazy or how dumb they sound but having such childlike imagination to the point where like things seem incredibly impossible having that moment with yourself I think that will also spark a lot of creativity because if you think about it there's a certain point in our childhood where we started gaining like expectations from society and started putting pressure on ourselves of like what is real or like what is obtainable and you didn't think about that when you were three four you know like you felt like the world is literally your oyster and like you can be anything you want and I think people forget that that's still possible and still exists within you it's just now you are more impression impression impressionable 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 by like Society. All the shit surrounding yourself with your phone, your, you know, social media, even just like the workplaces and people, other people around you, like everyone's just putting like shit on you, <laughs> basically. And I trying to come back to like that, that state of like innocence almost is like, I feel like that would spark a lot of joy. So by, by like, the ways to do that, I think would be like going back to small things that you like to do. As, as a, a kid. kid and doing them without like any judgment towards yourself oh my god like pick up a sport again yeah because a just lot cause. of people don't play sports that they played as kids no like i can't imagine me trying to play soccer these days we should do that we should we should go to the park and start working out with like playing soccer <laughs> soccer drills <laughs> i'm the goalie <laughs> hell no <laughs> i'm not the goalie We'll play without a goalie. <laughs> Another option to do to unplug, now that I think about it, is like taking a bath with no technology and just sitting in, like, you know, if maybe a trip isn't feasible for you or like all these mm -hmm. other things seem scary or like too much, too much work right now, a quick, I won't call it a quick fix because it's not really fixing anything, but a quick way to relax and take your mind there could be a bath or a sauna if you have a gym pass and your gyms are open wherever you are. Yeah the relaxation get a massage it's a good way to unplug quickly like for an hour yep and all those like those all those ideas kind of go back to the other one too of connecting with yourself like mm. you have time to yourself like also like meditating or like things like that like practices like that kind of keep you in a relaxed state where it's like almost like not dreamlike but you know when you're dreaming it's like your your brain's at a certain um uh, what's the word rem yes so what is that called? Oh. Which stage is it? Is, it, is that like a brain wave? Oh, brain waves. So like your brain <laughs> <laughs> has had a certain brain wave. That sounds weird. Brain wavelength? Wavelength? Brain. Your brain's at a certain wavelength. <laughs> your brain's know. doing some things. Anyway, like these, all those things kind of like keep your brain at that state and you're more acceptable to like let the energy of, of creativity flow yeah what was that flow thing you found that was another way to yeah there's this other way that I mean it's kind of similar to what we've been talking about the only thing is that instead of having such a free like in free and inviting space to like have ideas come in they were the way that they explained this flow process was that you needed to have a balance between restricting yourself to like the room not the room necessarily but like restricting yourself the to project? the project that you're supposed to be doing and not allowing yourself to get out of it until like basically it's like a reverse you know make, make sure that it. you're there make sure that you're like focused and present i don't know so more like our fifth section if we were to add flow be like present yeah being present being present and like allowing yourself to go through the motions of being frustrated yeah and then coming to that point where you're like okay I, br I broke through that you know I feel like that would be like my last resort yeah it's like all right nothing's nothing working else let's working. sit down and try to fucking figure this out let me just force sometimes that's the first thing I do though yeah <laughs> depends I definitely think that should be the last thing mm. because the other things don't spark anything you're like well I guess let's go you're like all right well I have a deadline so I got no option now <sighs> yeah being in a creative rut sucks yeah even if your job isn't creative or whatever, which... If it's not, like, an artist or just, yeah. like, the normal creative job, if even it, if you still need creativity in any field that you're in. Yeah, like, even logistics. Like, you still need to come up with creative solutions. Yeah, so creating solutions is creativity. Yeah. So, if you're not having a creative flow, you might not be able to solve problems in your workplace. 
hopefully one of these sections or one of these things that we've talked about help you move through that block that you're having it takes time don't pressure yourself don't rush it I mean, if you have a deadline, of course. And I'm like, but also don't. That makes sense. But don't procrastinate. Do what you got to do to make this shit flow. (laughs) (laughs) Stick around for glowing hour. We're going to be taste testing testing some hard kombuchas. There, There might be an interesting twist to it. We'll explain it a little bit more in a second. Peace. Hi guys, welcome back to Glowing Hour. We are going to taste test a couple hard kombuchas and we thought it'd be fun to describe them as people. Try and give you guys the whole picture since you can't taste it with us. We're gonna use our creativity. Creativity. Try and help you know what they taste like. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just get into it. Which one do you wanna start with? So first up we have Boochcraft. Boochcraft. <laughs> it's an organic hard kombucha. The flavor is apple jasmine. So apparently in it, it's apples, limes, jasmine green tea, and yeast. Yum. So let's try it. Mm. There's is... layers. Hold on. Did you notice the layers? At first, I like, taste like apple cider. No, not apple cider. No, maybe. Mm. Like, yeah. Okay. Yes. Like a literal cider. And then you get the hint of jasmine after. Yeah. It smells, it smells jasmine-y more than apple. I'm like confused because it tastes kind of like a beer, but also like tea. <sighs> hard kombucha. <laughs> That's exactly what it okay. should taste like. Hard kombucha. Yeah. Okay. If she were a person, I don't know, shouldn't say she. I guess if better booch craft or better booch, <laughs> if booch craft apple jasmine was a person, what would they be? I just keep seeing independent on that bottle, on the packaging, and I'm like, an independent, independent woman who don't woman. need no man. <laughs> I feel like it would be a woman okay, who has a very, like, normal job, like an office job. Ooh, okay, okay. And she, like, goes and does, so she gets out of work early, a little bit early. And goes and works at, like, a bar just to have a beer mm-hmm. by herself. Okay. And she's the type of girl that's like, don't fucking bug me. You know, if, like, a guy comes over. You know what I was thinking for a second? Mm. I was like, you know what she does after work? She's, like, soft cottage core girl. <laughs> that's a different vibe, but could be the same. <laughs> I think she has secrets, basically, is what I'm trying to say. I feel like she's... I feel like she's low-key, like, pretending like she's not hurt, but she's hurt. Like, she's afraid to be herself. He- yeah. What makes us feel that way? What do you think? Is it the it's subtleness just, of the I think jasmine? It's the subtleness. Like she doesn't want it's to be like feminine. Sneaky. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like she's been a, not oppressed, but repressed. <laughs> Is that the word? Repressed. Depressed. <laughs> Depressed. <laughs> repressed. <laughs> oppressed. All of the above. She's been repressed of like her femininity, so she's just like, I got to be more. Mm. She's trying to keep up with the men, but it's like girly. It's okay. She's like, I'm going to like a a sports bar, but I got a a hard kombucha. Mm -hmm. But it looks like beer-ish. Yeah, kind of. Seems not bubbly enough. And she said, I roll with the boys, but I love being a woman. Mm. I feel feel like like when I first tried it, it tasted like more like like an actual cider. And then as I'm drinking, it tastes more like tea. And I think the jasmine comes out more when you... Maybe I just took that first sip too too quick. So anyways, (laughs) a better boot. Not a better boot. God damn it. Boochcraft. Apple Jasmine is a secretive young woman, like 30s. She um she frequents bars, sports bars, mm-hmm. and likes to fit in in general mm-hmm. and go to work and be mysterious. At work. <laughs> <laughs> Always. She's like, like no sense. she's like that girl that works in a customer service department. And is on the phone all day. She's over it. She's real sweet to everybody. She gets to the bar. She'll fuck everyone. Mm. She drinks her booch craft. I see this woman as this um, same age. Just like 
She did yeah, she has more of like a kind of not an executive role, but like something under yeah. that managerial role, of some sorts. She's like she works for like a publishing company. She uh oh a publishing company. yeah she goes she gets off work a little bit early sometimes on oh, like Fridays okay and kicks it out like the sports floor. She just you know can I have a beer. She's like that girl that like makes it known that she wants a beer. You know <laughs> the pick me girl or no not that far no no not that far okay and she's just like kind of sitting there like. I'm not going to find love. And every time <laughs> a guy comes, she's like, like, what the fuck are you doing? Get out of my face. Mm. But secretly, she's just like really soft. And like, mm. will fall for the next person that is truly in love with her. Full on rom-com. Won't meet him at the bar, though. No. She's going to slip and fall somewhere. She's going to get out of the bar, mm-hmm. walk home, and go into a grocery store for mm. some more wine. Because now she's not at the bar. She's at home and she can drink wine. Mm-hmm. She's like, now I'm just gonna do chill, my thing. Do my thing, and she like bumps into this guy. Is he also picking wine? Is it a moment? Is he like he's grabbing a, a a pack of like a case of beers? Oh, it's beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's Boochcraft Apple Jasmine. There you go. <laughs> and she's like, you drink that? And he's like, yeah, dude. It's no, they're reaching for it together. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on! And it's the last one, and then they say, let's share it. Let's just sh- oh, no, they share it in the parking lot on the hood of his car. And then they just have a discussion or a, a little conversation about how hard it is to live in whatever city they're living. Milwaukee. Mm. Right. Full rom-com. Yeah. You're welcome. So, clearly, the man who drinks Boochcraft Apple Jasmine secretly drinks it in his home. <laughs> yes. Now you know. But it's what brought them together, so it's fine. It's beautiful. Yeah. They both love it openly now. Uh, we forgot to mention, Boochcraft is 7%. Uh, just throwing it out there because it matters. <laughs> Our next is the GT's Hard Kombucha Heavenly Hops. We've been drinking this this moment for... This one for a moment. Like yeah, we, we've had it in Glowing Hour before. It's 3%. Uh, let's try it. A lot more carbonated. Um, and it looks more like beer, and she's subtle. Less alcohol, more booch flavor. Yeah. It tastes hoppy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It tastes like a beer, but not aggressively. Like, it's not like a gross beer. It tastes like a craft beer. It's exactly what it tastes like. Subtle. She's subtle. Health conscious. Mm. Doesn't drink a lot. Mm-hmm. When they do, they're not drinking, they get fucked up. It's like a one drink moment. It's like a, I just need something to take the edge off. Mmm. One of those people. Got it, got it. I feel like this is a male. Okay. Everything you've just stated, but a male. Okay. He's like, I feel like he'd be in the crowd that of friends that would get really fucked up, but he doesn't. I feel like he likes music. He likes music. He's probably like some type of producer of some sorts. Mm-hmm. Either for, like, a Ooh. music video or... He, he's already gone through that phase. Okay, okay So okay. now he's like, I still love to take some edge off, but I've already done all that. Yeah. Not in a pretentious way. Just no, like... no, no, no. Not two people, but in his head he's like, I don't need to I do that. I don't need to do that. And I feel like the, the mouth feel still gives you, like, a, okay, like, I'm drinking, like, a beer. I feel like, flavor-wise, it's, like, how I used to drink. I get what you're saying. No beer belly moment. Like, it's, it's still the vibe. Mm-hmm. But it's not... Like, like C- the repercussions of a of a beer, yeah. Of drinking beer. But like a C- like CBD smokes or whatever. It's like instead of a cigarette, I'm... Got it. Like it's the mouth feel. It's more like the fixation of it all. Right. Got it. But like there's still alcohol in it, so it's kind of like a... So 3%. How not many bad. would you have to drink to get To get buzzed? buzzed? Probably like two. This is Kyla. She's the Sunset Trio with a hint of passion fruit, orange, and guava. Fruity girl. Contains less than 1% of juice. Kombucha with a kick. Okay. <laughs> Gluten-free life cultures and what else? Vegan. 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 Mmm. <laughs> she just kind of smell like... Like literally... I can, sh- I can sh- smell it, yeah. Champagne gummy bears. Like the ones from Sugar... Sugarfina? Yes. I wasn't expecting that Me either. <laughs> There's the kick. Just kind of awful. I don't love how she finishes in the back of my mouth. It's like more of like a wine consistency. Yeah, so she looks 
champagne whiny. She's like oily. Look. I don't know. Okay, who drinks her? I feel like. Oh, girl. Hold on, I need another taste. <laughs> I think it's the guava. It's the guava. Fuck, it's really bad. Like, the guava's real strong in her. Are you sure it's not the passion fruit? Oh. Mm, it smells like dirty dishes for a second. Oh, stop. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. Oh, if she were a person. Yeah. I think it's the girl who. I think it's a girl. A girl. <laughs> Us making all of them girls. <laughs> Except the <laughs> beauties. I feel like this is a girl who wants to be trendy. Yeah, I went there. I did. Yeah. And she. this is the first one she tried. And she knows everyone likes kombucha. So she went, this is amazing. And so that's all she drinks now. India Goes West vibes? That's who I get. Like, kind of the crazy. Her. The The girl that's chasing. Yeah, yeah. Like, kind of crazy. Like, actually really crazy. But, like, kind of crazy. <laughs> like, genuinely unwell. Really just, like, trying to fit well, in. To fit in. To be herself. But she's, like, not. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I can describe her if you haven't seen that movie. It's, like, she goes out with her friends or whatever and they go to the liquor store and, like, let's all get tall cans. And she picks this, this one. Everyone's, one. like, so different. What is that? And she's, she's, like, like okay. she's, like, she takes it as a moment. She's like, oh, you've never tried hard kombucha? This is my favorite one. It's, like, so fruity. So, like, you still get the kick from, like, a regular, like, limerita. But it's, <laughs> and it's good for you. Like, that vibe. That vibe. That girl. The girl yeah, that says yeah. all of that. I mean, low-key, though, I think it could be a good mimosa moment if we were trying to make it work with something. Because it, it's got that champagne-y and the orange juice would just cover it. My face, I was like... The orange juice would just I think cover it. Would it. Cover You're it. just bringing some... The aftertaste is just what gets me. It's not even a taste. It's like a bubble in your mouth. Like... <laughs> <laughs> the packaging's really pretty. It's really pretty. The Sunbreak series? Like, how could you not gravitate? I don't blame her. I don't blame her. I don't blame her I, at all. He chose her. Are she's, we... she's interesting. I gotta go to the next one. I have How to are you it, bro? sniffing it? What are we gonna do with this whole? I ain't drinking that one, dude. That should make Fine, my stomach I'll, go blah, blah blah blah. I'll put orange juice in it. Orange like juice. <laughs> this one's cute. I really hope the packaging doesn't disappoint us. You mean like trick us? Yeah. Our final kombucha is called Strange Beast. It's spelled with an I though, so I really hope I'm pronouncing it the way it's supposed to be. Uh, this one's blueberry, acai, and sweet basil. The packaging is friggin' cute. It's Unless natural and organic. Shut up. She's a cute color. No Thanks. way. What color? <gasps> That's with a different color. That's not fucking <laughs> not cute yellow. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> she does smell yeasty. She's booch though, so. Okay, ready? Yeah. I'm kind of nervous. After the last one, I'm like... <laughs> I'm really nervous. It's way better than the last one. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a great follow up. <laughs> it's doable. I just like need to not smell it. I think it's. I, we need a palate cleanser. This one tastes like beer to me. But not in a bad way. Yeah, I like it. It's good. It's a good one. This, this person. Yeah. I think this one's a dude. I was gonna say, it's either a dude or like a very alternative girl. Mm hmm. I think the dude is still kind of like alternative. alternative. He hangs out with his broskies. They all like, you know, like his him and his friends, like they get together on the weekends. I think they listen to soft work. rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They get kind of fucked up in their garage. Yes. And like they all have their particular like weird drink that they like. And this is his. Right. It's like, oh, you brought the four pack again? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everyone's like, okay. He's like, he's like too too young to drink maybe Ooh, under like age. 19 Ooh, but his he has an older brother who's really cool or yeah, yeah 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 he's a his older or cousin somebody somebody in his life or he could be much older maybe just like 27 <laughs> he's so much older than 17 yeah 27 living in his own apartment with a couple of roommates oh um, God, like younger younger the younger guy what's mm -hmm. his name josh what are you talking about, bitch? The, young, the show Younger. No. Oh, <laughs> Josh. The tattoo artist. Yes, yes, yes. Him. It's him. Him, him and his friends. Him they play friends. video games. They live together. They're kind of like messy boys, but like a little too old to be fratty. Fratty. Mm -hmm. 
or never were like a part of the fratty scene, but they just like kind of kick it together like that. Yeah, that's the, that's him. Oh, I could see him going so many different ways. So don't be offended, anyone, because he's deep. <laughs> he's he has lots of deep depths depths to him down there. Well, that, <laughs> that went wrong. <laughs> he said down there. <laughs> Not down there. The second time. He said. He said. Honestly, I really like this one. Like, I think I would repurchase this one. Yeah, and I think if you're a dude who's like. I'm too masculine for whatever. The packaging's cute. You'd like, have it, to drink it out of a can. Like, I think a guy who was like, oh, I'm afraid of my Cause masculinity. Because it's, it's a cute ass color. It's like dark pink. It's sexy though. It's like a fuchsia. She said. You think it has red dye? Oh no, this is probably from the it says acai na- and blueberry, huh? Natural. And organic. Well, welcome to. I mean, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> welcome. I'm drunk already. Glad you can join us. For um, this little creativity exercise. <laughs> Doesn't have to be alcohol. Doesn't have to be alcohol. But like make make light of whatever you're doing. Some candy. Some candy. I don't know, plants. Just like sit outside and look at clouds and be like, that, <gasps> that would be a person. Exactly. Like as a kid when you would look at clouds and mm-hmm. you'd be like, what's that? Yep. True. We're just doing it 21 and up version. Yeah. Well. We have to drink. I mean, we don't have to drink on this segment, <laughs> but it's just like our thing to do it now. So we just made the most of it, and we took a creative twist. And I'm feeling a little more inspired. <laughs> or are you just drunk? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Probably that one. Yeah, we'll see you guys in next week's episode. Hope you all have a great time experimenting and re... Igniting your flame. For creativity. See ya. See you. See you.